What's poppin' all stars? Welcome back to my channel. It's Damn She Jamaican, your biggest and brightest shining star. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Venus in Gemini. So basically, Venus rules beauty, love, abundance, value, things that bring you a sense of happiness, longing for, joy, things that make us feel loved on Earth. That's what Venus rules, all right, in everyone's chart. In a woman's chart, Venus rules her love nature. It rules how her flirting style, how she, what, how she acts when she's trying to get with someone. And in a man's chart, these are the qualities that he wants from a woman that he's attracted to, that turns him on, so to say. So people with Venus in Gemini, they love to communicate. These people love for their minds to be stimulated. These people love to have small conversations. They love, they just love talking to people. These people have a bunch of friends. They love having friends. They love meeting new people. They love getting to know a little bit about everything in life. You know, they just love to learn. You know, they love to um, have their minds stimulated. These are those type of people. They're, they, they, come be, eh, they become very uncomfortable when they're not able to talk when they're not able to just express themselves to talk about how their day went these people generally find love in being able to talk being able to say what's on their mind being able to see another person's perspective on something so people with venus in gemini they need to be around people that also has another that has air quality you know people that like to communicate with them as well and and these people would rather like a mental connection with someone rather than a physical one like that's what's mostly important to them like they want to be able to be to connect with you like mentally like they want to have cerebral sex like they want to be able to exchange thoughts like they want to be able to know that y'all got a mental connection like oh if nobody don't really see that we we really fuck with each other like that but me and this person know what we got going on up th up here like it's that kind of thing like they they don't care what anybody else thinks about their relationship or anything of how other people view it from the outside as long as they know that them and that person they talked about it and they know what they want that's how they view relationships. So these people, they're they're very much social butterflies. Like communicating with them is very easy. Like they, they don't have a lot of social anxiety. Um, it's not one sign that really suffers from that the most because that's where their love nature comes from. It comes from being able to be intellectual, being able to, unless it's like a retrograde, but being able to like communicate with um, people. You know they 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 thrive off of that that's what love feels like to them so these people definitely need to be mentally stimulated in order to feel a sense of love in order to feel like okay if me and this person can really sit down and talk and really you know talk about just whatever whether we're gossiping about our friends you know or whatever the case may be like people with venus and gemini like if they can just joke around with you and laugh and talk shit sometimes that's enough for them to be like okay this person's really my friend and that's just you know how they are they they like small talks they like gossiping they like talking shit they like joking around you know they, they're very playful people they don't take things that seriously and these people just for the sake of conversation they will just say whatever comes to their mind and sometimes they don't think before they talk like they just say shit and they'll be like oh damn and it's because your ass was just you just love to talk like you just you just get a pleasure out of communicating that sometimes you'll just talk about things that you probably should have just kept to yourself <laughs> and um yeah venus and gemini people go through that a lot that they'll see that you know some sometimes they're they're talking can be a little bit overbearing and their need for mental stimulation and conversation can sometimes be a, a bit too much for more um fixed earth sign people sometimes or just other people that just don't like to gossip that much um 
But yeah, that's one thing to take into consideration. These people keep a very lighthearted approach to love. Like they just jump from one situation to another and they don't really think too much about it. Like depending on their moon sign will definitely tell you how emotionally invested they get. But for the most part, when it comes to expressing love and receiving love, like they're not the type of person that um, get too bogged down into like emotions and um, unless there are other things in the chart that would indicate that. But for the most part, they're just very lighthearted and they're very playful and they like to be friends with their lovers first before it like translates to anything like they need to make sure that you guys can sit down for hours and just talk like these are those type of people you know they need to know that you guys can be friends and that you guys can um just talk you know they, they really need to connect with you mentally so these people are very optimistic people they don't like to be bored and they don't like boring people they don't like being around people that can't get up and go that can't just you know um they're kind of like not ADD ish, but you know what I'm kind of say. Like they, 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 they need to, they need to be stimulated. They need to get up and be able to go and be able to talk to one person. You know, just even if it's just to say hi. Like these are the type of people. Like me, if I step in a room, I don't always say hi. Like people say hi to me first. That's the kind of energy I carry, and. With Venus and Gemini, they're the type of people that say hi first, you know, <laughs> they'll they'll talk first. Like, yeah, so that's that. <laughs> but yeah, they definitely like to figure people out. Like they don't like to just when it comes to a relationship, they always want to they want to be with someone that they can always be able to like learn about like oh okay i didn't know that about you may like they 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 like shit like that like they like to not really know everything because it's it's they they still like it to be like in the beginning stages like these are those type of people that like to carry on the beginning stages of the relationship throughout the entire relationship so women with this placement they attract men by being very like social being very outgoing very playful being able to ask them questions about themselves you know being very chill friends like these are the type of women that just come off as like the homie and but they do it in such a way that they it's their venusian quality so of course they're flirting with you you know they use words in a certain way to like hook you you know they know what to say to you to make you feel a certain way so these women definitely play on the mind a little bit more they're a little bit more um smarter with how they 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 paint a picture for um for a person to see them and how they want to that person to be attracted to them and it's even more powerful when a woman knows that her venus is in gemini like some women they they may play this out unconsciously but you know that gemini is a sign of the twins so it's like sometimes they go into different like directions like sometimes it's like they'll act this way but then they'll act this way because they're trying to get you to to feel a certain way like they, they like to play mind games sometimes so that's one thing to watch out for and it's not necessarily a good or bad things because sometimes guys like that like they like when they don't really know a girl all the way or they can't really figure her out so sometimes it just works in her favor for her to just seem like the girl next door like she gives off that kind of vibe so yeah and same for the guys like they are attracted to women that are able to just be lighthearted, you know, be able to just be friends and be able to just talk to them and they don't want to be able to be with someone that's easily like trying to tie them down, you know, like they just want to be able to know that y'all can kick it and be cool and they're kind of turned off by that. They're 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 really turned off by girls that um don't have an air of mystery towards her. Like they they like to know that um they don't really know somebody all the way and that there's still more to learn. But at the end of the day, these people, their their Venusian qualities, their love nature is not that serious. You know, it's in Gemini and very mutable 
air sign it's a mutable air sign so they're able to change and adapt to other people other situations other conversations other interests you know other philosophies other intellectual ideas they're able to just jump from one thing to the next and they really have a love for reading sometimes or just videos you know comedy um shows you know anything that really gets their mind thinking about something you know whatever it is for them so yeah like these people are very cool um for the most part like i would just say that don't as a venus and gemini like don't be so quick because it's a quick witted sign don't be so quick to like communicate something and then you like fuck around and regret that you even said what you said like just learn how to um, slow your thoughts down a little bit and learn how to express love in a way that people can understand where you're coming from and that they don't have to think you're playing mind games with them but for the most part I like this placement it's a very fun placement it's it's a very fun placement for um, friends like they're really good friends like these people are good friends because they could just they just like to chill and hang out and talk and have a bunch of friends. So they make really awesome friends. Like they like to go out and do fun activities. You know, they like to um, just enjoy spending time with their friends. They they make really cool friends. They do. Uh, that's one thing I would say about Venus and Gemini. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you watched all the way to the end, make sure you go ahead and spam star emojis in the bottom of these comments you know to let me know that you are all stars and you're a part of my gang 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 <laughs> okay because we are not just this third dimensional body we are we have a whole nother life on the fourth dimension and this is what astrology is all about so shout out to you for being dope as fuck and being aware of that and yeah Thank you for watching this video. Make sure that you go ahead and let me know your experiences of having this placement or someone else that you know. And yes, I will see you in another one. Mwah. Peace. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm the one that makes it rain. Better at sing on my name. Damn, she Jamaican on her way to fame. If I say that I means bitch, I ain't playing no game.